Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my Christmas gift guide for all things kitchen and food related. Christmas gift guides are one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. It's so fun to see what other people like to give and receive, what people are buying these days. All of the gifts that I'm sharing with you today are tried and true. I use these all the time in my own kitchen and anything that I could find online, I'll link below in the description box so you can try them out too. The first gift that I wanted to share with you is this tiny little phone stand that is in the shape of a pig, which is my absolute favorite animal. So I have a little pink piglet body and instead of a head, it has a suction cup. So I take my phone and I suction the pig's body to the back of it and it acts as a little kickstand so that when I'm cooking or washing the dishes, I can just prop my phone up on the counter and I can listen to podcasts or music or I can watch YouTube videos, which I love to do. So this costs maybe a couple of bucks. You can find them at Five Below, Bed Bath & Beyond, all kinds of places, and it makes a super cute stocking stuffer. The next item that I'd like to share with you is something that YouTube made me buy. It is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Spice Mix. This stuff is incredible and you can put it on anything. So an everything bagel typically has poppy seeds, sesame seeds, it has a little bit of garlic flavoring and salt, and all those flavors are in here. So you can buy plain bagels, and then if you ever want that everything flavor, everything bagel flavor, that is a tongue twister, you can just sprinkle it on top of your cream cheese and you get that flavor, but then not all of your bagels are everything flavored. But I like this on scrambled eggs, you can put this on a steak, you can put it seriously on everything. I highly recommend this. So in that same vein, I also wanted to suggest another little stocking stuffer that I like to receive, spices. My mom bought me for my birthday a few years ago a whole collection of organic McCormick spices, which were so nice. And it was unusual things that I didn't already have in my pantry, so she bought me like a jerk seasoning, she bought me Greek spices, um, Chinese five spice, I have poppy seeds here, and this is actually from Penzi's. Um, it's called baking spice, so it's kind of a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves, I think there's some anise in here. Uh, my sister-in-law bought me this one and this is really good too. So it's just fun for a cook or a baker that you know to kind of experiment with some new flavors in their pantry. I love the flavor of coffee and unfortunately I can't drink caffeinated coffee because it makes me go crazy. I get terrible anxiety and my heart goes wild, but I drink decaf coffee and I get that flavor that I love and we use, wait, let me see, oh, our Keurig a lot. And what I like to do, instead of buying the K-Cup pods, is I use the little adapter, which I think would make an awesome gift. This is an older model. I don't even know. I think they still sell it, but just for people who have an older model of Keurig. But basically, you can brew from fresh ground coffee. You don't have to use the little K-Cups. So it comes with like a little mesh insert, and you pour the fresh grounds in there, and then you just um, pop it into this little like adapter container and put it into your Keurig, and you have fresh brewed coffee. And you can use any blend that you want, and it's definitely more cost effective, which I love, than buying the little K-Cup pods. Um, and everybody can make their own brew. So this would be a great stocking stuffer too. Something that always makes a nice gift for the home cook or baker is a bouquet of kitchen tools. And what you can do is buy a bunch of ones that you like and tuck them inside a little oven mitt, maybe tie it up with a bow, and you have a perfect little gift package to give. So instead of sharing with you some of the typical like spoon and spatula ideas, I tried to gather up some unique and unusual tools that I use in my kitchen that I can share with you today. The first one, which I rave about, is my beloved potato masher. I don't just use this for mashing potatoes. I use this when I make egg salad, guacamole, banana bread. You can mash anything and everything with this. It's really a versatile tool. And not everybody has one, so that would be a great thing to give. Something else that I like is this I call it a brownie cutter, because that's basically what I use it for, but it's a very small silicone spatula. Mm, maybe not silicone, I guess it's nylon. Um, but it has a really sharp edge, not like dangerously sharp, but sharp enough to cut through brownies and then you can serve them out with this. Plus, I love the bright color. Um, but this is just so handy to have because a regular spatula is too big to cut any kind of like bar cookie or a brownie, but usually with a knife, 
you can't dig it out of the pan with the knife. It always goes like flopping over on top of the rest of your brownies. So this is the perfect size tool. My mother-in-law has one of these. And it's so funny because the handle is like, I think it got melted or something because it's all mangled and short, but this part still works great. And I wanted one ever since I saw that she had one. And then our cousin had one on her wedding registry and I was like, one for her, one for me. Great gift. The next kitchen tool that I'd like to recommend are cookie scoops. So I have a medium sized scoop and a small size scoop. I probably use the medium one the most. Um, it's perfect, as I said, for scooping out cookie dough and you can make little even balls of dough on your baking tray. Uh, but again, it's very versatile. You can use this for scooping ice cream, scooping fruit. You can use it to portion muffin batter into muffin tins. It's a great tool to have, so highly recommended. Have you ever seen one of these? This is called a fish turner or a fish spatula. So this is a new purchase for me and I am loving it. So it's a very long, thin spatula and it has a really thin, almost sharp edge to it. So this is metal with like a silicone handle. So you're not gonna burn yourself when you hold on to it. Um, like if you leave it sitting in the edge of the pan. But you can get underneath stuff. You're not pushing them around the pan. It's so easy to flip a burger, to flip a piece of chicken, to um, flip potatoes if you're roasting them in the oven. You can use it for so many different things. And I have to say that it's probably not recommended that you use metal on a nonstick surface, like on a baking sheet or in a nonstick pan. But I've done it and it's been totally fine because of that edge. You can really get right underneath your food. You're not scratching your pan and then flip it with ease. It's, I love it. <laughs> you gotta try this, the fish turner. The next gift I wanna recommend is super budget friendly. I bought all four of these spoons at the Dollar Tree for a dollar total, obviously. And they actually came on a little ring, but I took it off so that I could use them individually if I want to. These are Betty Crocker measuring spoons. They're just plastic, but I love that they're a festive red color, which is perfect for Christmas time. But I've had these for years and I don't always hand wash them. Usually I just throw them in the dishwasher. And the writing, okay, it's maybe coming off a teeny tiny bit, but barely. I mean, it's, I can still see that it says one tablespoon, one teaspoon. You can also kind of differentiate between them too, just from the size of the little spoon part. But they're not wearing down. They're lasting me forever. I love that these are red because, you know when you drop things down into your sink and then you turn on your uh, garbage disposal and they get destroyed and there's like a metal spoon rattling around in there threatening your face? Um, don't love that. But I love these spoons because they're red and you see them before you turn the disposal on. So I always catch them if they fall down the disposal. So anyway, that's a little bonus for these. But the other thing I like about these spoons, um, again, that only cost a dollar and are lasting me forever, is that the spoon part is very circular. Um, which makes it a lot easier to get into like a box of baking soda or baking powder. Um, you're always like scooping into small mouthed things, put it into like um, a jar of spices. Oftentimes the more oval shaped measuring spoons don't fit into the mouth of the different bottles and jars that I'm using and these usually fit. So they're super handy really inexpensive, great Christmas stocking stuffer. The last kitchen tool that I'm gonna recommend is my Kuhn Raikon knife, which I love because it's purple, my favorite color. It always makes me happy when I use it. And I have had this for probably 10 years at least. I've never had to sharpen it. It always stays super sharp. So this is um, a paring knife size, but they make, the brand makes other sizes. So it has this little like uh, sheath, I guess you would call, that you can put it into. So I just store it in one of my drawers, um, but it's not dangerous to store it in there. And I use this for everything, like chopping fruits and vegetables. You can cut meat with it. You, it really cuts through most things. I don't know about like, a pumpkin but, <laughs> or a butternut squash. But I use this pretty much every night when I'm cooking. Very simple, easy to clean, and seriously, it has lasted me forever. It's still as sharp as the first day that I bought it. Um, and again, it's purple. It comes in dozens of really fun colors, both solid and also patterns. I've seen like polka dot knives. So um, these are definitely linked below to all your options. So you can kind of have fun choosing which one you like. Another item that I bought because of my cousin's wedding registry was this. It is a potato scrubber, basically. And I thought this would make kind of a fun little stocking stuffer and not everybody has one of these. It's just um, kind of 
kind of kind of like a nail scrubber, but bigger. So it fits nicely into the palm of your hand, and then it just has these pretty um, stiff nylon bristles on the bottom, and you just use it to scrub like potatoes or carrots or parsnips, turnips, all that kind of stuff, um, just to get all the dirt off uh, as you're prepping them to cook with. So I thought this would be a nice little thing to add to um, any cook's stocking. Something else that I absolutely love from Trader Joe's is their spicy chai tea latte mix. So this is just an instant chai tea latte powdered mix um, that comes in this little container and it has a little handy scoop inside so you get the right portion every time. Um, it is so delicious. Chai tea lattes are probably my favorite like warm beverage. Although in all honesty with this mix, I like to drink them iced. So you just heat up about two ounces of water till it's boiling. You dissolve one scoop of the mix inside and stir it up. And then you pour it over a big glass of ice. And I like to top it off with milk or even coconut milk. It tastes really, really good. So the only thing I'm gonna say about this which, I mean, I make things with butter and sugar all the time. I'm not super concerned, but I heard somewhere, um, like from a reputable health-related source, that the average daily allowance of sugar that you should be having is about 26 grams, and this has 27 grams of sugar per serving. So, sometimes, I just use about two thirds of a scoop. And the nice thing is it's not diluted at all. It still actually tastes really flavorful. So that makes me feel a little bit better. But sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use a full scoop and I love it and I don't even care. And you know what I can say about that? There's always tomorrow. Name that movie. Something else that I love using in my kitchen is this new jelly roll pan that my mother-in-law bought for me as a gift when I just had my fourth baby. Um, she got this at TJ Maxx, actually. It's Nordic Wear brand, which is an awesome brand. It's called Nordic Wear Naturals, made in the USA, and it kind of has, has a gold tint to it. But it's just a non-stick pan that I use for everything and anything, and it is so easy to clean. It's so easy to work with. It's you can barely even tell that I've used it, and I used it a lot since she gave it to me. Um, I just highly recommend this. Another item that I was recently gifted was this raspberry key lime jam from Sarah Bess. And this is what I put on top of my best cornbread ever, um, which is a video that I'll link below because you have to go make that and then buy the jam and put it on top because it's fabulous. Um, this was another item from TJ Maxx, which is, again, a great place to shop for um, kind of gourmet food items and kitchen gadgets at a very affordable price point. So I highly recommend any of the flavors in this line because Sarah Beth jams are awesome. And the other food gift that I just received um, is called Crown Maple Syrup. And it's not just any maple syrup. It is bourbon barrel aged maple syrup and it is so stinking good. You have to try this. So this is like the limited edition vat size. How many ounces is this? 25 fluid ounces, 750 mil. It's pretty big. Might not need this much syrup. You might, I don't know if you're elf, but um, you have to try this. I think my mother-in-law bought this for me from Costco. I was kind of checking out online. I saw it on the Sam's website. I saw it on Walmart's website. I found it on Amazon. So. It's pretty easy to find, I think, and they have other different flavors too, which I might check out in the future if I ever make my way through this. Um, but there is a trace amount of alcohol in this, so I'm probably not gonna be dousing my kids' pancakes in it, but I'm gonna be dousing my pancakes in it. And I'm also really excited. There's this little tag on the limited edition bottle with some other recipe ideas, and you can use this both in sweet and savory applications. So I'm excited to try this maybe over some roasted salmon or some root vegetables I think that would be a great flavor. And in fact, tomorrow, I will be baking a cheesecake for Thanksgiving dinner, and it's a pecan pie topped cheesecake. Um, and it calls for, you can either use corn syrup or maple syrup in the topping. And of course, I'm gonna use maple syrup because hello, I have bourbon barrel aged crown maple syrup, which I have to use. So I can't wait to see how that tastes. I think it's gonna be the perfect pairing, the bourbon flavor, the maple, and the pecans. So this one's not open, but I have tried it before. We cracked open a bottle at my mother-in-law's house and we were all drinking it by the spoonful. It was so good. So crown maple syrup. Another kitchen item that we use all the time, at least once a week, is our Whirly Pop popcorn maker. So it's very easy to use. You just add a little bit of oil into the bottom and heat that up and then put in about a half a cup of popcorn kernels and then as it heats up, you just kind of stir the handle like this and there's a little mechanism inside. I'm nervous to show you the inside of mine because it's 
It's very well loved. Let me see if I can get the lid off. Okay, here, so you have this little like whirligig mechanism inside. Can you even see that? Or can I hold that so you can see that? I don't know. But anyway, it stirs the popcorn kernels around so they get heated up evenly the entire time that they're cooking. And um, on my new stove top, which I'm gonna tell you about soon because it's incredible, the heat is so evenly distributed that the last time we made popcorn, every single solitary kernel popped and it was fantastic. So I think this would be a great gift um, by itself. You could include a bag of unpopped popcorn kernels and you could make it into a whole gift basket. You could do the whirly pop, some popcorn kernels, a DVD, maybe a little fleece blanket or something and make it a whole little goodie basket for anybody who likes popcorn and movie night. If you have watched any of my videos, you've probably noticed that I'm almost always wearing an apron. Cooking can be messy and I hate to get stains on my clothes because I already have four children whose clothes I'm treating for stains on a daily basis, so not my wardrobe. And I love finding really cute, whimsical patterns and this one is no exception. I just found this. It is, I hope you can see it. It is a Nutcracker Ballet apron and I am in love. First of all, practically speaking, I love aprons that kind of have a busy print all over them um, and also that aren't on a white background because those can stain really easily and you can see all the different um, like crumbs and splashes that get all over your apron. So it's nice to have kind of a print and sometimes a slightly darker background on your apron. But also, I grew up taking ballet lessons and all throughout middle school I was in the Nutcracker. So I was in the party scene and I was a soldier and um, what else was I? Oh, I was in the Spanish dance in the second act and I was an understudy for everything else. I loved it. Um, so this had like a little special place in my heart with Who's on here? There's a Nutcracker, there's a Mouse King, Clara dancing around, there's Sugar Plum Fairy. It is just, I love it so much. So this brand is called Now Designs and I found them online. Um, this is linked below because this was the only one from Now Designs that was in the store where I bought it, but they have so many adorable aprons. You have to check them out. There's kind of something for everybody on there. Even a couple that might um, be for like a male chef, like maybe somebody on the grill. Um, but I just love this. I think an apron is such a great gift for somebody who likes to cook or bake. You can really tailor it to their personality, to their personal interests, and you can never have too many aprons. Another gift that I have personally enjoyed receiving in years past is a subscription, which is truly the gift that keeps on giving. So this is something that my mom would always do for me when I was in college, and it was so fun every month or every couple of months to get a cooking magazine in the mail. So one of my favorites is, I have it here, Cooks Illustrated. This is awesome. And it's nice because um, over time some of the recipes will repeat in the issues. So if you give somebody like a year-long subscription, they'll have recipes for every season um, and then they'll have a little kind of library of recipes that they can go off of and they don't need to subscribe to it year after year. But this just has um, fabulous photos of every single recipe that's in the magazine. I'm pretty sure and um, really great like tried and true tested recipes so it's kind of like the best version of everything that you want to make and kind of the science behind it too it's really wonderful I'm kind of reading it as I'm on camera here it's great so I recommend Cooks Illustrated I've also received um, Food Network magazine in the past which is classic I love that Rachel Ray magazine um, Pioneer Woman magazine I used to get Everyday Food by Martha Stewart I'm not sure if that is published anymore but even Martha Stewart Living is an awesome another classic magazine and of course that has a little bit beyond just recipes in it that has all kinds of lifestyle ideas too so um, I highly recommend a magazine subscription or some Thing my mom has done for me in more recent years is a food gift subscription so there's kind of two options there you can do more of a food of the month club um, where we've received for example Harry and David fruits pears and oranges and grapefruits which is so fun to have arrive at your doorstep all this fresh fruit or you can do like a curated box um, I know it's so trendy right now to do um, beauty subscription boxes where every month you get um, like a little collection of beauty products. So this is the same idea, but with food items. And I have received one that is all candy and desserts, which was all my dreams come true. And honestly, it was my favorite kind of box to receive because you could just eat it all um, by itself. 
which I did usually in one sitting upon opening the box because it was all so good and so new too. I'd never heard of anything that was inside of it. But the other box that I received, which was fun, you kind of have to think about the person you're giving to. Um, it was all different kind of unique ingredients, but those were in uh, sample sizes and they came with recipes. So it was more to um, just test out and also to integrate into other things that you were cooking. So I liked a subscription box where everything that was in it, you could just eat unto itself. It was fantastic. So that's another great gift that keeps on giving. My final gift suggestion is definitely a big ticket splurge item, but I am obsessed. It is my purple Le Creuset five and a half quart Dutch oven and I love it so much. This was a wedding gift from several of my friends. They all pitched in and bought it for me and it was one of the favorite things that I got, um, one of my favorite things that I got, and um, I use it almost every day. It's so awesome. It distributes heat so evenly. It can go from the stove top into the oven. Um, I use it for soups and stews. I've used it for uh, making sauce. You can like make a pot roast in it. You can make bread in it. There's some great recipes online for no need bread in your Dutch oven. You line it with parchment paper, make some dough, stick it in the oven, and you have this perfectly awesome crusty bread. So it is super versatile. Definitely an investment, but it's gonna last you a lifetime. And I highly, highly recommend this Dutch oven. Now, to be fair, there are plenty of other Dutch ovens out there on the market, um, but I love the Le Creuset line also because it comes in a rainbow of colors. So there's something out there for everybody. Um, I, of course, love purple, my favorite color, but there's probably at least a dozen colors out there. So you can find something for everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen for my Christmas gift guide. Please subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss all of my upcoming Christmas cookie collaborations and holiday food ideas. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw and leave a comment below with any gift ideas that you have relating to kitchen or food or just anything because I'm ready to shop this weekend. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.